Well, after a little bit of a delay, it is now time for week two of the 2021 DCFL season. But before we get to that, we got to take a look at the current week one standings. As right now in the Eastern Conference, the Indianapolis Rabbit Stallions lead with the Jacksonville Scouts second and the New York Gangsters as they're in the playoff race with Philadelphia, Jacksonville, Baltimore running me and missing out. And in the Western Conference, the Kansas City Arrowheads lead at 1-0 with the Seattle Tenyo right behind and the Oakland Pillagers. And of course, missing out in the playoffs would be the San Diego Mean Green Machine, Chicago Staley's, and the Tacoma Slashers. So now it's time for week two as we see the schedule as it's going to start off with the Oakland Pillagers at the Baltimore Charm, then the Indianapolis Rapid Stallions at the San Diego Mean Green Machines, then it'll be the Jacksonville Scouts at the Chicago Staley's, then the Tacoma Slashers at the New York Gangsters, the Kansas City Arrowheads at the Boston Red Jackets, and finally wrapping up with the Philadelphia Sonics at the Seattle Tenyo, as every matchup is 1-0 versus 0-1. That's really funny. So, will we have all six going undefeated and winless? We're going to find out. Here we go for week two. So, now here is the week two results. As we start off with Oakland at Baltimore, the game was a defensive struggle back and forth before um, Oakland took a 17 13 lead before Baltimore came back on the final drive on a last second touchdown to win it 23 17, stopping Oakland from scoring on the next drive as they're both now 1 and 1. Then the Indianapolis Rabbit Stallions visit the Man I'm San Diego Mean Green Machines. At first, going to the second quarter, San Diego was up 14-7. Like, uh oh, maybe San Diego could pull up a possible upset. But no, as Indianapolis scored 60-something unanswered points to win it 76-14 in probably the most lopsided game in DCFL history. Although, to be fair, we still have to be a little bit concerned about Indianapolis as they've been down both times in these last few games against teams they should never have trailed once. But man, this destruction they inflicted and forced five fumbles like back to back to back to back to back on San Diego just really was an implosion there when they had like a chance it looked like for a moment. Then after that, it was the Jacksonville Scouts at the Chicago Staley's as Chicago continues to struggle this year. Remember they were 15-1 last year in the runner for a title? Well, they were down 27-0 at one point as Jacksonville was destroying them. They made the score a little bit more respectful, but by that point it was too late as Jacksonville won it. 30-14 as they joined Indianapolis at 2-0 as Chicago already doubled their loss from last year as they're now 0-2. Then the Tacoma Slashers went to the New York Gangsters and oh my did they put up an impressive game on New York. They really dismantled them especially in the fourth quarter as they won 34-17 in a crushing victory on the road to get their first win ever. Disappointing and concerning loss for New York as they've been struggling these last two games. Remember they barely beat Philadelphia last week and now here they are getting their ass kicked by an expansion team. Then after that the Kansas City Arrowheads visited the Boston Red Jackets and that game was a defensive struggle, but um, Kansas City had a 13-6 lead going to the fourth quarter before um, Boston tied it up, forced the game into overtime. Kansas City and Chicago, I mean, Kansas City and Boston both traded drives before finally two minutes in Chicago, I mean, Boston got in the field goal range and got the field goal to win at 16-13 overtime as they're now both 1-1. And finally, the Philadelphia Sonics visit the Seattle Tenyo as the game went back and forth until the fourth quarter when Philadelphia down, you know, tied at 24 after Seattle made the comeback. They went downfield and got the game win field goal with time running out to win it 27 24 as they're now 1 and 1. Seattle's now 1 and 1. Alright, so now as we take a look at the update stands, Jacks, I mean, Indianapolis still leads the Eastern Conference as Jacksonville is number 2 and New York is still number 3. And that right behind them is Philadelphia, Baltimore, and Boston in the Eastern Conference. And then in the Western Conference, Seattle takes the lead over Kansas City on the coin toss. As Eric and Kansas City fell down to second place. And Oakland is now the third seed as Tacoma's right behind. And Chicago and San Diego mean Green Machine's last place. Hard to believe, just two winless teams left and two undefeated teams left. Pretty impressive. Alright, now we take a look at the week three schedule as it's going to start off with all division matchups as Baltimore is at Philadelphia with whoever win at two and one so that's important then a big one the Eastern Conference as Indianapolis visits Jacksonville with the number one seed on the line and only one of them is going to be undefeated left at the end of it then it'll be New York at me hosting Boston with 
one of those teams being two and one. So we have the potential of having four teams two and one in the Eastern Conference. That'll be crazy. Then in the Western Conference, it will be Seattle at Kansas City with the division lead on line as both of them are tied right now. One of them can go to two and one. Then Ch Oakland at Chicago as Chicago tries to get their first win of the year. And they'll finally wrap up with Tacoma at San Diego as Tacoma's trying to get a second win as um, San Diego's trying to get their first win. All right, week two is done. Get ready for week three soon as we continue on with the season.